where do I start or I don't even know where to start. Have you ever heard those from your teen and have you or one of their teachers ever in a totally well-meaning kind of way ever just replied with, hey, just start somewhere or just try anything to get you started. Start with the bit you do know. Well, unfortunately, that's not good advice. It's coming from a place of encouragement and action, but it can just lead to many hours of wasted time and energy and plenty of frustration and disheartenment to boot. So what to do instead? Plan. Make a clear plan of what needs to be done and what's going into each element. So for an essay, just having a plan that says, Body paragraph number one, body paragraph number two, three, and conclusion and an introduction isn't good enough. It's a fraction better than nothing, but it's definitely not enough. I'm Katie Bryce, grade transformation expert, and I'm not going to go into exactly what should go into a plan and how to do it. I do all of that in detail in my Write Like an A Grader training. But instead, I want to focus simply on why that plan is so essential and why it's such an amazing indicator of whether a student is going to complete a task smoothly and successfully or whether they're heading into that dreaded waffle zone or not even getting that far, staying stuck and with frustration and a blank screen or a blank page in front of them. Because if your team isn't able to make a clear and detailed plan, then they aren't going to be able to write a clear and cohesive, high quality response. In other words, if they don't know what to put in their plan, then it's no wonder they're feeling stuck and finding it hard to get started or to make progress. They're likely confused or simply feeling kind of empty about what they need to do and how to do it. So to make a plan, they need two things. Number one, they need to identify what a question or task or an essay title is really asking and what they need to do to respond appropriately. And second thing, they need to be clear on the subject content and how it links to the demands of that task. Only then will they be able to devise a thesis statement or have a clear focus. And only with that will they be able to pick out the evidence and examples that need to go into their supporting body paragraphs. These are the things that need to go into their plan. The direction or the focus or the thesis and then the content to support those or that. <laughs> if they aren't able to create a clear plan, then they have a little hope, to be honest, of creating even a satisfactory response. And so many students want to bypass that planning stage because they feel it's time consuming. They just want to dive straight in. It's the total opposite. The planning stage is not only an essential part of crafting a high quality response, but it's actually a very clear indicator of whether your team's clear on the task, on the demands of the command word or words in the title or the question, and the focus that they need on every paragraph. So if your team's feeling stuck or confused, finds themselves in that waffle zone partway through an extended response, for example, or an assignment or an essay, then they need to go back to that planning stage. Figure that out first, use the gaps in the plan to help them guide themselves on getting the help and the clarity that they need, and then the rest will become a lot quicker, smoother, and more successful. Now, if you or anyone else, I'm sorry, if you know anyone else who benefit from this tip, then feel free to forward it or share it online, and until next week, let's make this a fantastic week.